Fire signs, thank you so much for watching Mama Fire Tarot. You are my people. You are my people. So thank you, thank you again. And thank you if you're a returning subscriber. Um, I appreciate you so much. We are growing so fast. If this is your first time um, tuning in, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Sorry, my brain just like shut down for a second. So usually I do individuals uh, this week has been kind of wild. So um, I am doing elementals this week. Um, I'm only going to be able to fit in four readings um, for YouTube. But I will be back next week with the individuals. So what this is going to be is I'm going to pull three oracles um, for Fire Collective. Then I'm going to do a mini reading for Aries, mini reading for Leo, mini reading for Sagi, uh, and then tie it up with another oracle reading for Fire Collective. And there it is. So I really hope you guys like this. Um, anyway, anyway. Oh, and if I vibe with you as a reader, you can check the description box below for a personal reading. Um, I would be honored to meet you on Zoom through everybody in my wellness center. Or if you want a video, you can check out my uh, profile on Wissio. Uh, also, don't forget to check out my girl, The Green Witch. She uh, offers a 10% discount to um, all my peoples. So the discount code is in the description box below. Also with my Instagram. I think I have Facebook in there, but everything's Mama Faya Tarot across the board anyway. I think I have Facebook. I will be adding an Amazon wish list too, in case you guys want to buy me stuff. All right. Anyway, you guys don't want to hear any more about that. I know you don't. All right, Faya Signs, what's going on for you guys? I guess we'll focus on love because that's what all y'all want to hear about. Ooh, embrace the energy of peace. All right, look, this Mars retrograde is going to be testing us in a big way, all the fire signs, and we have got to just go with the flow. The more we resist this, um, the worse it's going to be. As an Aries, I am trying my best to not be absolutely terrified. However, um, I know that the more I resist the changes, or delays, or the things that happen in retrograde, the more I'm going to suffer. And same is for you. Uh, so embrace the energy of peace and breathe out the stress. Like, <sighs> okay, Faya? Because that is often uh, really hard for us to handle sometimes. <laughs> we ain't Faya for nothing. Fire isn't as destructive for no reason. Ooh, Earth Guardian. All right, very good. So stay grounded. Get outside. Get out into nature. Um, oh, and speaking of destructive fire, my prayers are going out to the western half of my country here in America. They, It is ugly. Uh, fire is truly destructive, you guys. That's why we need to stay grounded and peaceful because we can burn motherfuckers up forever. And we don't want to do that right now. No, in Mars and retrograde, right? So prayers to the people in the western part of America right now that are basically on fire. Ooh, this card comes out so much. Um, a lot of my fire signs have very strong instincts. I may have a lot of um, animal people who watch my videos, uh, and that's like me. I'm a huge animal person, so... You know, um, any kind of connecting with nature right now will be really, really good for us. All right? It's a lot of greens and browns and not much red here. So, oh, that's it. Oh, I guess I had to do that to get the hermit at the bottom of the deck. We are in Virgo season, so don't be afraid to be alone right now. Okay? All right. So, not the best sign for a... Um, Love reading, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. We're doing spiritual work too. It's not all about love, y'all. All right. Aries. What's up with my Aries peoples? What's going in? What's coming in for love with Aries? Aries, sun, moon rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, all right, all right. Two of Cups. I love it. That is soulmate energy. Aries. Yum. All right, what else about this Two of Cups is happening here for my Aries? Oh, that's that's a lot. I got to take them, though. All right, 
Knight of Wands, be careful. Watch any impulsivity. Again, that's a big part of this um, retrograde is really watching our reactions to stuff. Aries especially, okay? Yeah, temperance. I love it. All your moves. And, and you know, this isn't just guarding against um, impulsivity, though. You know, be very creative. Don't be afraid to express yourself creatively with this King of Wands. Um, temperance energy here. This is all divinely guided stuff, Aries. I love it. Um, you may be single right now. Or feeling just super abundant in your job and really bringing in that shmoney. Looking good. You got your bird and your money. Uh, King of Swords. Yeah, Aries definitely has cut some people out recently, which has led to said abundance. You know that, like, you can trust the universe right now, Aries, that, to guide you. All right? Mars retrograde ain't looking so bad, is it? Yeah, with the high priestess in judgment, I do think that you can feel something big coming in. You can feel this two of cups. So, but stay logical, okay? Don't get too antsy in the pantsy here, all right? Uh, stay, try and stay cool. But yeah, you can feel it. I just would, you know, hold back as much as you can with that high priestess and tap into that spiritual side of yourself. Um, sometimes when you're psychic and you know something big is coming, it's it's very hard to get out of your own way because you're like, oh my God, what's, what's gonna happen? We can't, we can't freak on that. Just keep focusing on how good you're, or how well you're doing, how good you're doing, how well you're doing. All right, ooh, 10 of pence at the bottom of the deck. I love it, Aries, holy crap, this is amazing. Uh, you may be in Aries with some Sag or Aquarius or Pisces in your chart. Ooh, whoa. The Emperor reversed. He flipped. He went right upside down. I have to take him. Okay. Okay. Aries. Release control. Okay. Of the situation. Do not try and dictate. <laughs> everything that happens here all right because i do think that you know you letting go of control um you know or this emperor in reverse may be the one that you cut out you know you may be in other areas in your life that you're like no bye bye friend wow yeah i do think a lot of my areas did cut somebody out in, and it could have been another Aries or someone with Aries in their chart or Divine Masculine or something, Divine Masculine who wasn't acting right, um, to make room for something better with this Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful, Aries. Good. Um, and things may be going a little slower than you would want. You may feel a little emotionally immature. Don't. Again, don't make any, like, sharp moves, okay? Ooh, Page of Swords. Um, wow. Okay, I do think there may be a Pisces or, or um, yeah, definitely could be a Pisces or an air sign spying on you online here. Um, someone wants to communicate with you, Aries, but may, may feel like they can't, especially with this Emperor Reverse, too. Take it as it resonates, guys, okay? Don't try and make it fit. Five of Swords, ooh. I wouldn't, if, um, I'd be careful of the water sign, Aries. I wouldn't necessarily just let that person in. Yeah, I do think that um, Aries, people may be seeing that you're doing well and may be coming in to try and rifle that. And I think that you've got to be very discerning about who you let in and who you don't, especially because you can sense something big coming in. Don't jump at the first thing. Nine of Wands, yeah, because you've been hurt in the past. Keep healing. I know, we're so tired of that, aren't we? 
but you have, you've been hurt. You could definitely have some Sag in your own chart. Get to know people really well, okay, before you commit. All right, Aries. Ooh, conflict at the bottom of the deck. All right, yeah. Um, you could definitely have something, your wishes fulfilled coming in big time. Stay single for now um, because it you'll know when the right one comes in, Aries. That's what I'm getting. And there may be um, someone who's extremely emotionally immature, definitely could have Pisces in their chart, um, who... Who wants wants some of your abundance and and they might use you for that and so just be very very careful okay Aries Mars is in retrograde reminder you know so um, be very very careful okay um, it's not usually a time to start stuff anyway all right Leos, Leos, Leos. What's going on for my Leos, my beautiful Leos? Let me give these a good shuffle after that, Aries. Um, but yeah, Aries, just use your discernment. You're a high priestess. You know who's who, okay? Um, and don't be afraid to dig if you have to, okay? Because you are something special. And it looks like there's going to be quite a few people coming in. And you're going to have to see which one is which. So, but we'll see. We'll see, Aries. That sounds exciting for you, but also a little scary. So be careful. All right. All right, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. What's coming in for love for my lions and my lionesses? Come on. La, 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 Leo. What's up? Oh, High Priestess again. Interesting. Whoa, High Priestess with the Ten of Pentacles, with the Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. What? Okay. Okay. Leo, you can, <laughs> like Aries, you can feel something big is coming in, but I don't, be careful of any self-sabotage. All right, and watch your lack mentality because that's what's blocking you. Leo is blocked of their true commitment, happiness, and stuff. Um, and you're holding that in. I do think it's more that the high priestess isn't telling. Leo, you may not be telling people how you really feel, and now you're getting left out in the cold. Um, and uh, let's see. Hold on. Empress, good. Heal that shit. Drop any kind of lack mentality. Know that you are an empress, that you are worthy of real love, and that you're going to manifest that in here. Let's see, with Page of Cups. Someone may owe Leo an apology. Um, or more emotional expression does need to happen at some point. Between you and whoever it is you're asking about, Leo. Ooh, Queen of Swords. You've been hurt really badly in something, Leo. And Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you may be feeling like you're just starting over again. Um, with the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, you may be just starting over um, on in, into something new. And maybe you moved and it costs a lot of money. Yeah, Page of Swords, wow. Um, I do think that, you know, there could be an earth sign watching you online, or you found this new house online. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Just take good care of your space. Take good care of yourself. Take good care of others right now. It does look like, yeah, you just moved or something. You are on a fast track, and... Just keep moving forward, even if it means that you have to start on a new path. Just keep walking, Leo, you know, and keep moving forward because you're at the precipice of something big, you know, and whatever it was that you were doing before, you're better off cutting out because you're going to go from the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Pentacles, which I think, you know, if you're trying to manifest more money and get out of lack mentality, that's what you want to do. 
Yeah, try and see yourself from a different perspective. You may feel a little stuck because of money or lack thereof. Know that you can manifest more. This is turning more into a money reading than a... And Ace of Cups, yeah. Uh, you may have gotten divorced or something. And you may be, you know, having just left something. And so you're just starting out again. Give yourself some time. See it from a different perspective where you need time to heal from this past stuff and to get acclimated in your new space if that's what just happened and know and see love from a different perspective and gain a lot more self-love right now that's what whatever leo collective i picked up on here needs to keep working on their self-love you may have some cancer in your chart definitely could have some libra or taurus or some pisces uh strong pisces energy in this reading as well um, but just know that you, you can bring in that new love for you if you just keep, and money, and commitment, and yummy, if you keep moving on the, on the, in the direction you're going. All right, Leo? So stay on the path, for sure. All right. All right, very good. And then one more pull for Sagittarius, my beautiful Saggies. I can't believe how much the last Saggy video blew up. It's almost at like 6,000 views or something. I'm like, that is wild. While the rest of them are like 60. <laughs> nah, nah. The other video has got more views. All right, let's see. I do never know which ones of these are going to blow up. Um, these fire sign readings are actually my favorite ones because I'm all 3D. So they're just the most efficient for me to watch. So maybe I have a couple other triple fire signs. I know there's a couple other triple fires that follow or subscribe to my channel. So hopefully you guys catch it. Um, and it, it's awfully efficient, isn't it? Getting your sun, moon, and, and rising reading in, all the, in one video. So I always watch fire sign reading. All right. My beautiful Sagis. I feel like I'm here. And then I will get to... I will try to do at least um, air and earth tomorrow and um, water by this weekend, maybe by Sunday, hopefully. Knight of Swords. All right. Gemini energy. Impulsive energy. Whoa. Saggy, you are running towards the sun. You are running towards your sun, your happiness. You are just headed straight for it. But there's also... A level of having to be patient. Wow. Ooh, King of Pentacles. All right, Saggy. Um, I am getting, again, like, the, this is another career reading, just kind of like Leo in a way. Well, Leo was both love and career. This, for me, seems way more career. Like, Saggy is very focused on making money and providing and doing the right thing. Um, that's what is making Saggy happy right now. Yeah, you're going through huge changes. You could definitely have some Scorpio in your chart. Um, it's almost like you need to be logical and work with people, not against people, Saggy. So whether this is about money or about love, work with the energy, not against it. Okay, that's the biggest message here. And I think maybe Saggy might be fighting the retrograde more than poor Aries is. So, um, you know, and be okay with changes. Try not to freak out. Work with them, not against them. I can't get that enough. Ooh, lovers at the bottom of the deck. Uh, yeah, this could be about love or money. Uh, either way, uh, Saggy looks like they can choose between either being the sage or being the fireball. And it's, you know, I think you should be the sage here, okay? Um, I you really need to um, channel that, ooh, the hermit, yeah. Channel that spiritual teacher in you when you get frustrated right now, Saggy, because then you'll be able to teach instead of flip out. Wow. Like Aries, uh, Saggy, I think you can feel that you're bringing in something from the past or a past life relationship, something that means a lot to you, 
and something you've thought about a lot, especially when you were alone. So you, this, I don't have the magician here, but this is definitely strong manifestation energy. Um, that is nice. Um, again, yeah, just not again. I didn't say this earlier. Um, I said it earlier to somebody else, but manifest what's in your highest good. Ooh, the empress is here. Oh boy. And the devil. Okay. Saggy. Uh, you may be, you may be a, a little obsessed with your kids and that might not be too healthy. So be careful. <laughs> Sorry. Um, also you, or, um, you could be, have Capricorn in your chart and, or Libra or Virgo. Um, but it, what I'm getting more than anything else, and I've never gotten this before with this combination, is be obsessed with taking care of yourself. Seriously, Saji. Be obsessed with yourself. Be obsessed with caring for you. Know that you are an empress here, whether you're male or female. But also the hermit, this deep spiritual thinker. You know, even when things are going slowly, don't lose your fire. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, things may be moving really slowly right now, Saggy, and I don't think you like that energy very much. Um, try not to be obsessed with time either and how long things may take. Um, you know, surrender to divine timing, Saggy. I'm getting that really strong. Or my beautiful fire signs. What do we got coming in for the collective of my beautiful fire signs? Wish the quality, I hope this the quality of this video translates because it's not very high from what I'm looking at right now. But I still appreciate you watching, guys. All right, let's see. What's coming in from my fire signs in love and what can I advise them on? Ooh, changes. This is I'm going through changes. I did not give that any kind. That was the worst singing I think I've ever done. Sorry, guys. It's been kind of a long day. I'm a little tired. All right? But, yeah, we're going through some big old changes right now, guys. And, yeah. Well, I'm getting that. What's that? Um, Give Me Shelter by the Rolling Stones. And it's like I know. Change can be really scary, even for the fire signs and air signs who are actually okay with change sometimes you know it's still hard for us it's scary because there are things that we've never done before you know and um you may want to hide out you may and maybe some days that will be okay but a lot of times you're going to have to face these changes and it's not easy we we all right i am one of you all right we are going to have to face these changes Try not to look back too often unless it's like, um, oh my God, you know, I don't look back in anger, I heard you say, why am I channeling Oasis? I don't know. Uh, but don't look back in anger. Just know that everything that has happened to you in the past has happened for a reason and it's got you to the point where you're at. And the collective of fire signs that I read for today are dope. So where you're at is pretty great. All right, and, and yeah, and you know it. You know it. Just translate that wisdom, okay, and, and, and talk to people. Just watch the impulsivity and watch your reactions, okay? All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot, and I will be back with the individuals next week, um, and we'll... Um, be back tomorrow with some more elementals. All right. Take care, guys.